Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. The moment of Goldie Roger losing his life was a historic moment for the One Piece world. His departure was something that sparked an entire new era of pirates in pursuit of a single goal, finding the One Piece treasure. Now there was something very similar that happened to Luffy during the Logetown arc, but on a much smaller scale, because Luffy wasn't such a famous pirate at the time of the event. Also, he really didn't have much visibility because it was something very unexpected. But even though there were a few people watching Watching this event, it was something that inspired certain pirates. Even Bartolomeo was inspired by Luffy's big smile, and he from that moment decided to become a pirate so that he could follow our young rubber captain. So today's video, we're going to talk about the possibility that Luffy could be captured again to have his life taken away. But this time, he's captured by the Navy, something very similar to what happened to Ace during the confrontation in Marineford. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like, and even subscribe, and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it continues to motivate us to make more content. If you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, Luffy is currently one of the most famous pirates in the world of One Piece, being one of the four closest to finding the One Piece treasure, along with Buggy, Teach, and of course Shanks. Very soon in the manga, Luffy is likely to confront one of the most powerful admirals in the manga, Borsalino, also known as Admiral Kizaru the Admiral who has held the post for the longest amount of time. Now we know that Kizaru is an extremely powerful opponent, even managing to rival the powerful Yonko, because during the Battle of Marineford, we saw that Kizaru had been a major obstacle for Edward Nugent, also known as Whitebeard. Even though Whitebeard was weaker because of his advanced age, he was still one of the strongest people on the planet, but he still had difficulties in defeating Kizaru, who had been preventing him from advancing. Since that encounter, Kizaru has to have gotten stronger, becoming a real danger to Luffy and his allies who are currently on Egghead Island. His power is superior to what we saw in Marineford, and possessing a power level similar to that of a Kainu. So this will make him be able to match the strongest pirates in the Straw Hat crew. There's Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and of course Jinbei. But obviously, Kizaru is going to want to face Luffy on Egghead, since both are very powerful and have a very similar power level. It's also difficult to predict who the winner would be, since they're both very skilled and powerful, possessing strength beyond the ordinary. So this fight would be incredibly interesting to see play out. And even if Luffy does manage to defeat Kizaru, that doesn't mean that the Straw Hats automatically win. There's still an even greater danger than Kizaru going to that island, a danger which might possess a power level never seen or dreamt of before. That individual and potential power, of course, is sitting next to Kizaru on the boat, and we see that a Gorosei is going with him to Egghead Island, the Gorosei called Saturn, one of the five elder stars who rule the world, being second only to Im-sama. Now, Saturn might look old, but that doesn't mean he isn't strong enough to defeat a Yonko. As we know, there are three pillars in the world of One Piece. These pillars are formed by powerful people who maintain balance throughout the world. Initially, we had the Navy, the Warlords, and the Yonko, the three most powerful organizations that maintain the balance between pirates and the Navy, making them both live in a considerably balanced era without too many clashes between either side. With the dissolution of the Warlord system, a new pillar was put in place, the scientist organization called the SSG, being commanded by the greatest scientist scientist in the world, Dr. Vegapunk. We've also learned that alongside Vegapunk, there are the five punk robots that command the rest of the scientists. And throughout the arc that is currently happening, we've seen that the SSG has multiple powerful weapons that might be able to easily defeat pretty much any pirate crew in the world. Vegapunk has also been able to create an enhanced version of the pacifistas, capable of creating a kind of jelly that blocks anything. Very similar to Kuma's fruit, but in a much more limited form. Not only that, this great scientist was able to create the Seraphim, small robots with the characteristics of King, one of Kaido's pirates that belong to an extinct and very powerful race called Lunarians. And each of these seraphims have characteristics similar to that of a former warlord. These creations are incredibly obedient and extremely powerful robots capable of even facing a Yonko crew. Although they're not quite as efficient against a Yonko as we saw what happened with S-Hawk when he confronted Teach. But as we've seen, the SSG is one of the greatest powers in the world because of their advanced technology. The Yonko are the second pillar because of their extremely high individual strengths, in addition to having very large crews at their command. 
And finally, we have the Navy that also has many Marines at its command, and also three admirals and fleet admiral that are the four most powerful sailors in the world, managing to each rival a Yonko. Now, although the world government is the organization that holds these three pillars up, it's also one above these pillars, possessing the absolute power among everyone on the planet. Now, going back to the Gordasei for a moment, although they are old, or at least look old, they have to be incredibly powerful and might possess power superior to that of a Yonko or even an admiral perhaps being the strongest people in the One Piece universe. Currently, the Gorosei Saturn is on his way with Kazaru to Egghead to take Vegapunk's life, and this means that if Kazaru loses the fight against Luffy, he himself will be responsible for capturing Luffy at all costs. Now, if it comes to blows between Luffy and Kazaru, Luffy is likely to be extremely tired after using his Gear 5th for so long. After the quick fight against Luchi, Luffy was already extremely tired, which demonstrates that this transformation, even if used for a short time, still makes makes the user very tired, at least for right now. If this battle turns into a much longer and prolonged fight, this is going to make the fatigue increase all the more, reaching the point that Luffy would need to rest for possibly a week or more, just like what happened after the battle against Kaido in Wano. If things play out this way, Luffy could be captured, and the Straw Hats might not be able to do anything to keep this from happening, because there would be so many powerful marines that are also going to Egghead Island to support what's going on. With his capture, this could set up one of the biggest battles that we'd see in the world of One Piece, where all of Luffy's allies come together to form one of the largest existing fleets in the world in search of rescuing their favorite rubber lad. This capture of Luffy's could also be very important narratively and plot-wise for the story of One Piece, allowing Luffy to cause something even greater in the world than Roger was able to do with his own execution. Because as we saw in Roger's past, once he found the One Piece, he did make that conscious decision to disband his own crew. Roger also had a final meeting with Whitebeard, where they talked about several important things, even what he was going to do now that he stopped being a pirate to live a normal life, which left Whitebeard quite saddened because he wouldn't be able to see Roger anymore and he was going to lose his biggest rival across the seas. At some point after leaving his crew, Roger also met Portgas de Rouge, a woman who lived in Bacharia, and the two in turn fell in love. And in time, Rouge became pregnant with Roger's child, so the two had to come up with a plan for the future, one where Roger knew he wouldn't be present to be a part of it. Roger knew that he would lose his life before he could even see his son being born. So Roger left Rouge and turned himself into the Navy so that they could perform a grand ceremonial execution in public. To add on to the plan, while in prison, he asked his old enemy and rival Garb to take care of his son after he was gone, as he was the only person strong enough to be able to protect his son from the Marines and the world government, saying that a child should not be labeled as a criminal just because of their family ties. Now, although Garb said that he had no obligation to fulfill his wish, Roger knew that he would anyway because Garp had a big heart, so Roger knew that Garp would not let the Navy take the life of a child just because he was the son of the King of the Pirates. So the Navy, thinking that they would make an example of Roger to prevent others from becoming pirates, they brought him back to his hometown of Logtown to face an execution in front of a large crowd. However, just before he met his end, Roger shouted his famous last words in which he says that his treasure is somewhere in the world and that anyone could find it and get a hold of it. This ignited the great age of pirates where everyone sought to find the greatest treasure in the world, just to get the same level of fame, wealth, and power as Roger once did, making this event one of the most important in the whole world of One Piece. So if Luffy were ever to be captured, he would also be the star of the beginning of a new era, somehow managing to inspire people with his words, telling the whole world that Joy Boy, or also known as Nika, had returned to that era, and he would be responsible for freeing all who still believed in him, making all those who had been waiting so long for the return of the sun god Nika to rejoice again, fanning the flames of hope in their hearts and lighting up the world and thus causing a revolution in the search of freedom for everyone under the sun and under the water throughout the world of One Piece. But with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. What do you think the possibility is of Luffy getting captured? And do you think it might happen during the Egghead Island arc that we're in right now? Secondly, what would be the effect of Luffy's capture? And who would actually come out to try and free him? We all know that Luffy has this uncanny ability of turning enemies into friends. So who all would come out to see this rubber man saved? 
and what effect might it have on the rest of the world? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we would like to thank you all so much for watching the video, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.